for their exotic looks and super fast speeds. They're a status symbol of the rich and famous, but only a few can afford because they're super expensive, right? Well, today I'm gonna find the cheapest Ferrari in the country and buy it. Let's go to the dealership and go Ferrari shopping. Woo, our first stop. We are at Carolina Exotic Cars. Let's go inside and see if they have any Ferraris for sale. Hopefully a super, super cheap one. Hey, how's it going? All right, how are we? I'm Sean. I'm Carter, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Likewise. How can we help you guys today? We are looking to buy a Ferrari. Do you guys have any in stock? We have a few of them available. Any specific model? We are looking for the cheapest Ferrari possible. The first Ferrari is an SF90. It's brand new with a top speed of over 200 miles an hour. Let's see how much this thing costs. I mean, this looks good. What does this cost? It this... goes, runs retail about 1.1 million. 1.1 yep. million. <laughs> so definitely not the cheapest. The second Ferrari is a 458. Spider. Retail around 280. 280. But well, we can go in the back, check out a couple of more. All right, we're moving in the right direction, Michelle. We definitely need something a lot cheaper than 280. Cheaper. This next Ferrari is a 360 Spider in Ferrari Red. So this is around 140 pricing on it. I'm really looking for something cheaper than 140. A lot cheaper. Oh, I have a 328 in the back. Let's go check out that one. Going. I guess this is where they store all the super, super cheap Ferraris. The 328 GTS Ferrari is super old. It's from the 70s, so it's got to be super cheap, right? Yeah, these you can find them fairly um, in the range of like 80, 90,000. All right, Sean, I mean, the lowest price I've heard you say is like $80,000, but I need to go cheaper, like way cheaper. So in that case, you might want to go the salvage title. We might have one in the back. Let's go check it out. All right, now we're going in the backpack, which is where the super cheap Ferraris are. This Ferrari 360 60 Spider is completely torn apart. It was in an accident, so therefore it has a salvage title. So it should be the cheapest Ferrari here. I think it looks good. We'll take it. What do you think the price on this car is? From 50, 40 to 50,000. 40, so 50,000. I think we gotta go cheaper even still. So you think this is the cheapest one you have? This is the cheapest one I have right now. <laughs> we might have to go nationwide, look on the internet, and we need to go way cheaper because I want to spend way less than 40 or 50,000 dollars on this Ferrari. All right, Sean. Well, right. thank you. Welcome, Carter. Let's keep looking for the cheapest Ferrari in the entire country. Time to go back to the Timur house and continue the search. Guys, I think we found it. The cheapest Ferrari for sale in the country. I went up to the house. I got my secret stash of cash. The truck is loaded up with the trailer behind it. Let's go look at this thing. Weeks of searching on Facebook Marketplace, joining just about every single Ferrari fan page and group, I was able to find a lead through a friend of a friend of a family member who we finally got in contact with who says that they might have a Ferrari that's been abandoned in their barn for over 20 years. We're heading to the house right now and we're just about six and a half hours away. Here we are, we are turning in. I don't know what an old Ferrari is doing out in this neck of the woods, but I hope we're in the right spot. I'm not seeing a Ferrari, not gonna lie right now. I hope we're in the right spot. Oh boy. <laughs> I see some barns where a Ferrari might be. This does not look like where I would imagine to find a Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't see one. Let's go knock on the front door. Here we go. Oh, they got a dog. Uh oh. Dog. <laughs> Hello. Hi, how can I help you? Hi, we talked over a text message about the car in the back. Shh. Lynn, you're here about the car. Yeah. We, we put this car on Facebook, mm -hmm. Marketplace. My husband doesn't know this. Okay. This is something we want gone. So you're trying to sell like, it without him knowing? Yes. So, you want us to go look for it? Let's go look at it. Let's yeah. check it out. Okay. You'll have to look beyond all the junk. There's stuff everywhere. This thing is so freaking old. It's old. It's old. And you know he what year it is? I'm not sure, but he will not get rid of it. Okay. Um, it was like a family heirloom. So I had Leanne to put it on Facebook mm -hmm. so that we could kind of slide it out and he not know about it. So the biggest thing is whatever you can offer. Hey man, you can have it. Okay. I want it out so I can have my space. That's what we're looking for. We're looking right. for the cheapest in the country, and I think you might have it. Hey, we got it. I don't yeah. see a car anywhere. Yeah, so what, what's going on? Okay, let me see if I can. Uh, this is this it, is it. This is it. No joke. This is a box. It's buried. I am so sorry, but it, it you know, I don't even know if the thing runs. I'm just saying we want to get rid of it. Oh. Um, 
Oh, oh, what? No. Oh, what? It's a Ferrari. Oh, no. How, do you, how do you know it's a Ferrari? Guys, You're like a Ferrari. Oh. Oh. oh! This is an heirloom. Oh, so, gosh. the sooner we can get out of here without my husband knowing, the we better. Got it. The better, yes. It's been sitting here for. I can't even tell you how many years. Oh boy. Uh, you mind if we start taking some of the junk off and seeing what's on, under there? I think it's great. Go ahead and, I mean, whatever you need to move is awesome. This is the moment the of truth. Don't even look like they're still there. Oh my gosh. This is going to be rough. But if it runs, we're good. Oh wow. Whoa. That's got some dust on it. We got another flat one right here. That's okay. We expected them to be low. I mean, it does have the Ferrari logo. It does look legit. We're gonna get the rest of this cover off. I mean, it's a Ferrari. It's it's red. It's looking definitely pretty rough. Oh, look. Oh, it literally says Ferrari. All right, we got the proof. There it goes. Ferrari. That's cool. Hold on, Carter, you need to look at this. Does it say what model it is? Oh, it's signed by Enzo Ferrari Special Edition. Sounds fancy. I mean, steering wheel's the air shifter. I think that, from what I can tell, I think it'll probably run. It just might need some elbow grease. All right, well, I definitely want to check the engine, make sure it's there, because a Ferrari without an engine is going to be not driving and running. Well, it looks like there's something there. Looks better than I thought. Hey, how's it going? Uh, we're here to look at the old Ferrari. There is a, a posting for sale. Who posted? I have no. Look, I'm sorry, but honey, we've had this thing for. 20 years and you've been saying you were going to sell it, you want to get rid of it. So I got Leanne to post it. I didn't post it. Mom posted it. No, you did post it. She posted it for me. So it turns out the mom posted the Ferrari for sale on Facebook without the dad knowing. I'm just hoping that he's okay with selling it to me. Otherwise, we're leaving empty handed. We've had this car a long time. I mean, it's got some mail bag. Sentimental value? Sentimental value. It's been out here forever. All I will say is this thing looks super cool. It looks like it's all there. I don't know why it hasn't ran for 20 years. With the resources we have back at the team warehouse, we probably could get it running and driving, which is exactly what we're looking for. I've been meaning to get to it. When are you going to get to it? As soon as I get to it. Just talk to the guys and just give them a chance. Give them a chance. Well, we, uh, we drove a long way. I thought it was for sale. I'm hoping it still could be. So. Maybe. If you're willing to get rid of it, we're... So what's your plans for it? We want to get it running, we want to take care of it, get it driving again, and get it back on the road. That's the goal. Oh, so y'all want to fix it all up to where, where yeah. it should be. That's right. So you think you want to sell it? Well, if you can get it loaded, and we get it all loaded, and you're happy with it once you get it out of here and get it clean, cleaned up, then yeah, we can, be able, we can do something. But it's gonna be a little bit of work to get it out of here. I mean, the brakes might be seized or something, you never know. We brought some tools, we're ready to make it happen. Sure. All right. Sounds good then. I think we can do it and see what happens. What's it looking like down there, Matt? There's, uh, there's no tow point, so I don't even know how to pull this thing. So it actually might be a little harder to remove than <laughs> yeah, a little, it might be a little harder to remove than Uh oh. Yeah, you know if you have the key for it anywhere? No, I don't. I mean, we can look through a bag full of keys and all. If it's not in there, I'm not sure. You're gonna see if the tires are gonna hold air? Yep, see if we can bump these tires up. That would make it so much easier, but they are old and they've probably been flat for literally who knows how long. Oh, look at that, guys. That is how you know a tire is old when it's all dry rotted and cracked. It's not gonna hold air. It's not looking good. We tried that tire a few times and not budging. We're gonna try the rear. Oh. That one's holding air. That one's moving. I can see the car lifting up. That's a good sign. If we can get enough tires, ideally four, this thing will roll a lot easier onto the trailer. We gotta try this tire one more time. Pray. I think it's going. Uh -huh. It's going. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. yeah. We got the tire. And just like that, the tires are currently holding air for now. We probably should go pretty quick before they go flat again and get it on the trailer. Let's push it out of here first. Let's see if it rolls. Yeah. All right, Stowe, so push. Ready? Yeah. Uh, Let's see. This don't cost me to push this thing. <laughs> it's rolling. It's rolling. In order to buy this thing, we have to get it onto the trailer. So we're backing it up and hopefully we can ramp it up. I don't know. It's gonna be a little bit challenging. It's there, perfect. Windows work. Yeah. That's a plus. That is a plus. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, keep it straight. You're pushing too, mama? All right. Well, you want this thing gone. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> well, we got the camera set up. We are all just a big old family. Gonna push this thing and see if we can get it onto the trailer. I'm ready. One, two, three, go. Here it goes. Here's the family heirloom. Oh! Yeah. And it's up! Yeah. Yeah. Okay, brakes perfect. Yeah. Good driving. There we go. Yeah. Oh my god. That was awesome. It worked. You know we can do it. I knew it. I knew it. You know we can do it. Let's go, Woo. mama. Oh, honey, we're it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> Okay, let's um, make the deal. Well, the deal was if we can get it out and put it on the trailer, I gotta make them an offer. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. I'm going back. We got the emergency team raw cash that I keep in a super secret place that nobody knows about. Here we go, $9,000. Let's go make a deal and see if we take it. Emergency funds for a rainy day for the world's cheapest Ferrari. Let's see if we can seal the deal. Ooh, what's your offer? Well, the listing said nine. I mean, nine grand for a Ferrari is readily cheap, but we are taking some serious risks. It hasn't ran in forever. There's no key, the tires don't hold air, and that's just the beginning of it. But if everything does work, it's gonna be incredible. I think for $9,000, it's gonna be the cheapest Ferrari that hopefully runs and drives. That's about to happen right now, so let's just uh, let's see if he's happy with nine. All right, the deal was if we could load on the trail yep. and make you an offer. So mm -hmm. the listing that you had said $9,000. Yeah. So I think that's gonna be a fair price, if that's good with you. Yeah, I guess. Since you got it on the trail and got the tires up, right. and you're going to take care of it, right? We're going to take great care of it. That's 9000 okay. You want to share? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm still mad. Uh, oh, I appreciate it. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it very much. And don't forget, pictures, and I want to take a ride in. That's right. We'll come okay. back. All right. Well, I can't believe it worked out the way it did. But we came for a Ferrari, and we are officially leaving with one. Let's go. I can't believe it. We got one. There's a Ferrari right behind you, so. Ooh, looking clean. I can't believe we just bought the cheapest Ferrari in the entire country. Now we just gotta bring this thing back to the team our house. Ooh, I'm gonna be the first one uh, to drive this thing. Look at this. Oh. Three, two, one, neutral. Oh my gosh, you off the brakes? No. Oh, thank God. I was like, no way. All right, we're looking good. Brakes, 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 brakes. Nice and keep right. it going, you're good. Just you're nice good. and easy. Nice and easy, yeah, you, he's got it from here. Just, yeah, back her on down, nice and easy. Keep it going, nice steady speed. Yep. Yeah, okay, there you go. Suspension's working. I saw Yo, it. Yo, I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. <laughs> you got it, Stove. Yeah, real slow right. on this part. You're good. You're good, though. You're good. Just just keep it slow. Oh, that bumper wants to hit. Oh. oh. Ooh, there it is. Did it I hit? knew it was going. I think it hit. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that the bumper? Yeah, we're good. There we go. We're off. We're off? She's all right. She survived. Oh, it's a beauty. You did it. First uh, first driver in the Ferrari. You Being drove a good. Ferrari. Matt, how's it looking? Do you think we can try cranking this thing? Well, I've got it all hooked up to the jump pack, so uh, we'll see. But uh, we need a key first. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot. We have a few options if we can't find the key. But we can wait and maybe they'll find the key and mail it to us. Or it is an older car. We might be able to go into the dash, find the wires and hot wire it. So let's just look through. See if it's in this thing. There's something in there. Oh, it's a Ferrari emblem wheel cover. No. Hold up. There's no, no way. way. There's no key. way. It's, it's he's got the matching emblem. Oh, oh it's so old. <laughs> Look at this. 
and there's a key on it. Oh, it. I guess. No, that was too easy. No way. <laughs> there's no way. He did say he thought he left the key in the car. He said it was going to search the house, but it was probably the car. We didn't even look in the car. We just got this thing out of here. That's true. <gasps> The lights are on. Oh my gosh. Here we go, moment of truth. Oh, 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 oh. It's cranking. Let me give it some gas. Uh, At least the engine turns over. It's a good sign. It's a good start. I put some starting fluid in it this time. We'll see. Let's see it. Come on, Ferrari. Oh, oh. What? Oh, try oh. again. Try it again. That was a really no. good sign. Try it again. Yo, hold up. Dude, I think it's, it's gonna run. I think we're gonna get it to work. Another few minutes of Matt working his magic. Come on, guys. Fingers crossed. Hit that like button. Three, two, one. Oh! Oh! Yes. Oh! It's running! It's working! Oh! <laughs> no way! The world's cheapest Ferrari is running <laughs> after 20 years of sitting in a barn. Oh my gosh. Yo, this thing is, oh, this thing looks sick. Woo! Yeah, world cheapest Ferrari. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Unbelievable. What a day, what a project. We know it runs, but now the question is, if we shift it into gear, is it gonna drive? Let's find out. Time to drive this thing for the very first time. I'm excited. Here we go. It's going. It's, it's going. Here. I mean, I think we I think we won. I think this is the best, cheapest Ferrari ever. Let's see how this thing drives. Yes. I think it's gonna be a good car. Oh, it's running guys. It's not pretty, but it's running. It is running. It is an old car, so Carter, good luck on a drive to you in like probably 45 minutes, 30 minutes. Have fun with it. That doesn't stay up. It definitely needs some love. Not even two minutes into driving the Ferrari, this happened. I think I smell smoke. Is that smoke? So it's already smoking. First test drive. Oh. That is. Hopefully, it's just the parking brake, but the engine's also in the rear, so it could be coming from the engine too. The car is smoking. I'm a little bit worried that it's not the brakes and it's something with the engine. And oh, what was that? Uh oh, that is not good. This is not good. The gas is not working. Oh no, and I'm not gonna make it up that hill. Yo! Are Yo. you smoking right now? We got a bigger problem. Yo, what's going the on? Throttle, the throttle cable's broken. I can't make it up the hill. No, that, is that why you're going so slow right now? I need you to push me. Oh my gosh, no way. Yeah, literally, there's no gas. I can't rev it. Bruh, you've been gone for only like five minutes. <laughs> two, yeah, two minutes. <laughs> two minutes, like something super short. You gotta go <laughs> stride the whip. All right, ready? And then once it gets going, I'm gonna jump back in. This right. is a disaster. I was talking so highly of the cheapest Ferrari. <laughs> okay, keep you going. I am punching a Ferrari right now. And it's smoking, I can smell it. We gotta get this thing back to All the right. before We made it up the hill, yes! Yes! We're running! We're running! We're running! <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Okay, straight to the garage we go. Oh, there's Matt. I think it broke. It broke. It's broken. What broke? Gas is completely dead. What Nothing. the um, throttle cable must have just come undone. I heard a clunk over there what? when I was driving. Yeah, we'll turn it off and uh, pop the back. See that piece? So we obviously can't leave a Ferrari out in the open overnight, so we're just gonna put it in gear and just let it idle because the gas pedal literally is doing nothing. But we wanna get it into that garage and get it on the lift. We have a throttle cable coming for it tomorrow, so we're gonna put it on and we're gonna keep driving. Oh, don't let it get away from you. <laughs> go stride a Ferrari, let's go. Uh, it's like a self-driving Ferrari. They had it back in the 80s. 
Ferrari. Woo! Nothing like a good old self-driving Ferrari. Woo! Mission success, this is the cheapest Ferrari in the country and it does run and drive. It's all there, but it's not perfect. There's actually quite a few things that are wrong with it. So far what we know, tires front and rear are completely trashed. The engine is smoking in the back, it might be the brakes, we don't know yet. Throttle cable is also broken. The AC doesn't work. All the shocks are worn out and need to be replaced. And we haven't even had a chance to go through it. I have no idea if the lights work. I have no idea with other interior bits or other engine bits, but we will learn how to take care of this car, get it on the road. It's official guys, I am now a Ferrari owner. Last week I went out on a mission to purchase the cheapest Ferrari in the entire country and we succeeded. Behind me is the cheapest Ferrari that runs and drives. What is that? What car do you drive? Oh really? Never heard of that Ferrari before. Yeah, I mean Ferraris are sick. Oh, what? Your, your Ferrari is not signed by Enzo Ferrari himself? <laughs> then it's not, that's, is it even a Ferrari? <laughs> I bought this thing for $9,000 and I'm willing to bet it's worth something like 90 grand. But not a lot of you guys are happy. I mean, I'm looking through the comments of the first video and a lot of you guys, I think, are haters. I mean, if I bought the most expensive Ferrari and I was trying to flex and show all that, I could understand why people would be upset. But I saved this thing from the barn. It was just sitting there rotting away for more than 20 years. But hey, for nine grand to get this thing back on the road, I'm pretty proud of myself. And let me read you some of the hate. This dude says, there's no way they actually believe it's a real Ferrari. I mean, how would I not believe it's a Ferrari? It says Ferrari all over it. It's red. It's a Ferrari. This guy says, I instantly recognize it to be a Fiero as soon as he pulled the car cover off. Well, it's not a Fiero because that, this is not what a Fiero looks like. Those were sports cars. They did come in red, but you know, it's just two different cars from the 80s I don't think that's the case and to further prove to you guys that this is in fact a real Ferrari I have the documentation to prove it I have two documents here this first one and it says the make and year right there and then here is the actual title for the car proof is in the pudding this thing is in fact a Ferrari there's only one thing left to do let's settle this thing we're taking this thing to the exotic car dealership the experts in Ferraris and Lamborghinis let's have them look at it let's have them authenticate it and appraise it All right, let's go, let's hit it. What, you think I was gonna put miles on my Ferrari? No way, this thing's expensive. Okay, wait, 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 I'm not hiding back here, this is sketchy. I'm riding the truck. I'm a Ferrari owner, I get a shotgun. It's time to prove the haters wrong. This thing is real. And it's probably worth a lot of money. It would have been worth less if we drove it here because I don't want to put more miles on the dash. Also that it hasn't been driven for 20 years and I don't know if it would make it here, so. Uh, let's go uh, talk to Sean. Oh, here's Sean. He's gonna see it for the first time. He's gonna say it's real. He's gonna put all you haters to rest. Let's go talk to the expert. What's up, Carter? Yo. You guys up, did it. Sean? Oh my we God. Got it. it looks amazing. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Doing good. We did it. We bought the cheapest Ferrari the in cheapest the country. Ferrari. So you guys wanted to get an idea of how much it's going to cost to get it running and going? Yeah, exactly. So I want you to do two things. I want you to give me an evaluation of this car. Okay. And then also I want you to authenticate it. Because a lot of comments are saying that it's not a real Ferrari. Okay. And I want to put that to rest, prove to them that it is a real Ferrari right. once and for all. And uh, also show them how much it's worth. Because I think they're just jealous that I found such an old Ferrari and got such a good price makes on sense. it. Yeah. We are here at Carolina Exotics. This is Sean. You guys know him from the first video. He is the man. He deals with high-end cars all the time, just like this real Ferrari. And he is going to evaluate it. He's going to know that this thing is worth like almost probably, I'm thinking like a hundred grand. Maybe, I saw a comment saying it might be 400 grand. It's got a signature for Ferrari Enzo himself. He's going to authenticate it. We brought the title. We got the documentations. He saw the first video. He is on board. We're going to have proof. Hey, how's it going? All right. 
Chris. Chris, I'm Carter. Nice to meet you, Carter. Nice to meet you. All right. So the goal is to take a look at this old Ferrari 308 that we got. Okay. I want to get an idea of what it's worth and also authenticate you know, what it is. All right, the experts are looking at it. Sean and Chris are literally the guys to tell you how much an exotic car is worth. Yo, what if Sean evaluates it and says it's fake? Okay, don't be a hater now, Stowe. Okay, look, they're not gonna say it's fake, and if they were to say this isn't a real Ferrari and that it's like fake or something, I will tie this thing and winch it up into a no. tree and make a tree house out of it. No, no that's, I'm not, that's, I don't that's, have to no, do that. No, no, I'm not gonna do it because it's not fake, it's gonna be real, and it's gonna be worth, I think, like $90,000. Carter, you ready for an update? All right, so I have some good news for you and bad news for you. All right, so this would be this is a very, very limited Ferrari. Okay. They didn't make a lot of them, maybe I would say less than 20, 25 of them. Very limited Ferrari. So if this was a regular 308, then it would be somewhere around 130, 140. 130, 130, 140,000. Yeah. But here's the big part. So here's the big part. So as I said, it's a very, very limited car. Very limited. Because it wasn't built actually by the Ferrari. Okay. And there's actually a 1984 Ferrari 308 built by Pontiac. It's by actually Pontiac. a Pontiac Fiero. It's not a Ferrari. It has a so, look at right here. I, I, think, I think he meant so, to say Enzo. No, Enzo. By Enzo. Enzo. Sean, Sean, it's got a signature yeah, they're, from they're Enzo. Personal. So this was the first thing that I saw in a video. I was like, this doesn't make sense. Cause I've never seen a Ferrari with this badge on it. So it might be a limited, super, super limited edition mm -hmm. that you don't know. But then I saw it right here. So on a 308, there's actually a place you put your key, you open this part, and the gas cap should be right here, okay. not underneath. Okay. Then you come and look at the engine. Okay. The Ferrari engine, you can see the valves on it, says the all the, the quadro engine. You can see right here, that's where they cut the car and added. It was actually not the best build on it because of what they used right on that corner. They actually the used lumber? two by four lumbers. It is a limited edition, but not a limited edition Ferrari, unfortunately. So Sean, you're telling me that this is a fake Ferrari. It is a fake Ferrari. No. Yeah. No! No. Are you sure it's fake? Are you sure it's fake? Like 110%? 110%. I'm not a Ferrari owner. It's a fake Ferrari. The comments are right. Sean, I need you to tell me that on camera that this is real. I'm telling you, I wish I, I could say that. No, Sean, I hope I could to, say that. You have to say this is real. We can't say that it's fake. I mean, it's too obvious. You can't tell me to say this is real? No, it's not a real Ferrari. <sighs> I can't believe it, Stove. I'm so sorry, man. I'm... Should, I, should I keep filming? Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean. Dude, 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 dude. dude okay. Okay. The haters. Dude, literally, the haters. I know. It's... The haters, bro. But, but, dude, we can cut around. I said it. they we, were fake. We can cut around the whole thing of him saying it's fake, right? Just, we just cut that out it. and not even like acknowledge it. Yeah, we should just like not even. Yeah, yeah. You know what? And, and also, he did say there's only like a yeah, limited number, right. 200 were made, and he says it still looks like a real Ferrari. That's true, you he know? says it looks legit. Alright, so, we'll just cut out all the stuff about exactly. him authenticating it, and we'll make it sound like it's real. Exactly, no one needs to see that. Just tell the editors not to use that part We'll cut it video. all out. Bro, you're a real Ferrari owner! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> That's right, guys, you heard it here at Carolina Exotics. This thing is a faux Ferrari. Mm -hmm. So let's take it back to the house. Did you hear what we we're gonna do when we found out if it was fake? I heard something about like hanging from the tree or something like that. <laughs> yeah, we gotta go put it up in a tree now because the haters are actually right. They weren't even hating, they were just saying what they saw. And Sean was an expert as well and he was able to tell pretty quickly. It's time to take this thing back, let's rip on it and go put it up in a tree. Guys, I feel so stupid. All the comments were literally telling me it was fake and I didn't think so. I thought I had a $100,000 Ferrari and now it's fake which means I can't even wear these logos because it's not even a real Ferrari. <sighs> and now I literally have to hang it into a tree, so that means I won't even have a fake Ferrari. I'm gonna have a faux Ferrari treehouse. What is that? One of the rarest American cars is a counterfeit Ferrari 308? Oh, we're back, baby! This article, according to Car and Throttle, has some super interesting news about my fake Ferrari. They reference the Ferrari as a Pontiac Mira, which is based on the Pontiac Fiero. A company called Corporate Concepts built these fake Ferraris back in the 80s, and they were a blatant ripoff of the Ferrari 308. Naturally, Ferrari didn't take too kindly to this blatant 308 ripoff and sued Corporate Concepts in 1987. By that time, 247 of these fake Ferraris were made, which ironically makes my my counterfeit Ferrari, one of the most rare American cars ever built, which means I think it has good value. 
probably at least $9,000 in value. Well, owning a Ferrari or a fake one for that matter has been an interesting learning curve, but uh, I think it's time to go find a tree. Try pushing on it, uh, Jack. Oh! Oh! We got it started! Okay, good work, Jack. Alright, I'm not gonna turn it off from now on in case we can't get it started. time I'm putting the world's cheapest Ferrari off at the top of this massive tree. Let's go. In order to make this work, we had to attach a cable over a branch in a tree to create a pulley system to hoist the Ferrari up. But to do this in real life, the cable is going to have to go way up on this tree. I mean like all the way up there, about 60 feet up. Luckily, I have a fire truck with a 100 foot ladder, so let's go use that to get to the top of the tree. This is the Team Our Fire Truck and it is massive, weighing in at 70,000 pounds. With a 100 foot ladder, we're gonna be using this to get up into the tree so we can hang the Ferrari about 60 feet in the air. All we have to do is drive this thing up to the house and fit it down the driveway, which is gonna be no easy feat. Okay, well, I think we ran into our first problem. Fire truck is multiple feet too high to go across the bridge, and unfortunately, the team our house kind of lives on an island, which means there's only three bridges to get to the house. There's this one, there's a tiny pedestrian bridge, and then there's a dirt bridge. The other two are too small, and now this one, we're just learning, is too small, so we're gonna have to build another bridge to get the fire truck across. Fire truck won't cross the bridge because it's too big, so the only other way is to drive through this. But as you can see, this is a mess. It's a dry riverbed, which right now it's not so dry. It's full of water. Yeah, the fire truck's not making it through there. So we had to build basically another bridge next to the bridge just to get the fire truck up to the house so we can hang the ferry in the tree. So we're gonna spend the rest of the day, today and tomorrow, to try to see if we can engineer this thing to make a water crossing for a 70 ton fire truck. We got Matt in the skid steer and he's working on etching this away. So we can put a pipe across, we can add some gravel, some riprap, and hopefully make this thing work and crossable. What is that? Is that a snake? It doesn't look like a snake. Is it an eel? I don't know. It's like an electric eel. That's what they look like. The two-toed anfuma is an aquatic salamander. Wow, this thing is actually a salamander and not a snake. And it's widely distributed across the southeastern United States, which makes sense because we're here in North Carolina. It is commonly but incorrectly referred as the Congo snake or the blind eel. They can grow up to 46 inches in length. That's huge, but the legs on it are tiny. It's so funny. But otherwise, they're not harmful, but they can bite and that can be dangerous. We're making progress, but I gotta say, it is looking worse and more uncrossable than it was before. Well, this is not looking good. Matt thinks he just got stuck. Uh-oh. This is not a good situation. It's not looking good. Oh my gosh, you are stuck, stuck. When big heavy machinery gets stuck, you need a bigger and heavier machine to pull it out and newest to the fleet we got a dump truck guys look at this thing it is huge and it's gonna be the first time we're actually using it so let's hop on up it's literally one step two step all the way up to the cab and this is kind of a smaller dump truck as far as dump truck standards go starts right up and we're off doing dump truck stuff oh that construction works for me let's go Throw in the dumpy. Moving across and 
we're going across the little ramp that we made earlier. Nice and smooth. Man, reversing this thing, I can't see anything. Okay, we got Matt given the go ahead, which means we can go ahead and keep reversing. Oh man, I literally can't see a thing. Okay, so that's good. Drop it in neutral, no park by the way, which means you have to remember to pull this up. Woo. Oh, look at that. And here goes Matt trying to climb back in. This is ridiculous. Woo. So Matt's in. Now it's time to see if we can pull the city out just so we can keep cutting the dirt so we can make the covert so we can get the fire truck to the tree so we can put the pulley up there so we can hang the fire truck. It's a lot of steps and side quests. But I'm having fun. Let's keep going. All right, so we're going to drop it in a one maybe. And we're gonna take the brake off. Okay, we're going to get the slack out of the chains. That's the slack, okay. I don't want to spin my wheels. I think it's working. Let's go see. I literally couldn't see anything. Woo! It worked? Let's do it again. Yeah, let's try it. <laughs> that problem is solved. We still gotta solve this. The next step is to install this giant pipe. Pipe, pipe, pipe. Did it echo? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! There it is. We can make a slide out of one of these. You said this is your first time building a, is, a yeah. road? Yeah, this is my first time building a road, so. Uh-oh, -uh. well, it needs to work only for the heaviest vehicle allowed on the road, a fire truck. <laughs> 70 tons, guys, do the math. Each ton is what, 2,000 pounds? The thing is so heavy. Here goes nothing. Oh! <laughs> Okay, that looks good. So now it's time to cover the pipe with some dirt, flatten it out so we have a nice smooth bridge to drive over. The road's looking good. Next up, let's test it out with a heavy truck. Time to take the dump truck across the new bridge. And if it holds up, then hopefully it will hold up for the heavier truck, which is the fire truck. And that thing weighs a lot more than this. Alrighty. Here we go. Lining up the dump truck. We're gonna see if this thing can hold the weight or if it's just gonna sink and get stuck. And here we go. Oh, and we just drove across a homemade bridge. That is amazing. The dump truck test was a huge success. I made it across three times. It definitely smushed in a little bit because it's wet, but now it is starting to rain and that is only gonna make things worse. If this soil gets wetter, oh, I think a huge storm is coming in. So uh, I don't know what else we can do, but we just gotta keep moving and hopefully we can finish this thing so the fire truck can get across. If it starts raining so hard, this thing starts flowing, we're gonna be in some trouble. Yeah, exactly. It is coming down, the rain. Oh, it wasn't even projected to rain until tomorrow. Here's the update, guys. It is like literally dumping, which means we are in major trouble. I'm worried we're not getting the Ferrari up in the tree in the next couple of days. Oh no. Here we go, we're about to weigh the dump truck empty. Matt was thinking it weighs 10,000 pounds, so. Oh, I was so far off. 12.7. Oh, that's what it weighs up there? 12.8. 12,800. Minus us. Wow. wow. That's a pretty heavy truck. She's a pretty heavy truck. We got the green light. This place is pretty crazy. Oh, where are we right at? Yes. This place is insane. Look at that. Oh, they got the big one. They got the big one. Let me come drive that. Oh, that's a dream. So we're getting this stuff? Yeah. Look at this. Oh my gosh. It's our turn. This is pretty wild. The first time ever filling up a dump truck. We have no idea what we're doing. And then we're coming with an absolute pit squeak. He's, he's holding up numbers to me. I don't know. Matt's got no idea. Oh my gosh. Get an idea of the scale. Look how big this thing is. So what he said. Well, he was like, hey, what you want? I'm like, I, I don't know, it's our first time. And he was like, what, what can it hold? I'm like, 
26 gross and 12 empty. He was like, so you're good for six tons. I'm like, it should be. He was like, you're good. He was, I was like, all right. I was like, you seem confident. That's our gravel. That's it. Hurry. That seems like way too much. There's no way that's going to fit in this stomach. I mean, he seems to know what he's doing. He's like, oh, look at that. He's like doing something fancy now. Does he have a scale in there? Well, Does he know. somehow know? He's somehow like measuring it. Like, I wonder if somehow he knows how much weight. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Looks like we're getting crushed by the monster truck. What is happening right no now? No way. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. Oh, all this for a Ferrari and a All tree? this, yeah. The lever got bumped down. Uh -oh. oh shoot. Oh my gosh, the guy stopped us because we're about to dump our load. So we're back at the oh gosh, that is way open now. That is not good. So here we go. The first time we're dumping it is back where we got it. It's definitely a little bit embarrassing. We clearly have no idea what we're doing when it comes to dump trucks. I mean, after all, we're just trying to put a Ferrari in a tree. Oh. So this was the problem, is that latch was not on that pin because this lever should have been, you just pull it up. Yeah, it's gotta go all the way up. I think we're good for round two at this point. Twenty-two thousand seven hundred eighty. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. We're all loaded up with our first load of rip rock. We're heading back to the Timber House. We made it back, and it's looking wet. It's really muddy right here, and I'm noticing our bridge is underwater right now. Oh, this is horrible. No, this is not good not good at all. After the rain, the bridge was flooded and uneven, so we had to dump more dirt on top before we can lay down all the rocks. Here we go, officially dumping our first load with the dump truck. Any second now, that gate's gonna swing open and all that rock is gonna dump out right here. Yep, ah. Oh! Wow, that is wild. That is like white smoke coming off of those rocks. Well, I think we spoke a little too soon. We tried the dump truck test with all the riprap down and it got stuck. And remember, this dump truck weighs significantly less than the fire truck. So if this can't make it, the fire truck's not making it. Oh boy, this is looking quite bad. As you can see, the ground is still really soft and mushy. It's not really drying out very fast at all. The dump truck only made it to here when the actual bridge is all the way up here and we need to get up there, so it's not even close. Back up in the old dumpy. And just like that, we're coming out. 
we're kind of running out of time so we're gonna just make another pass at it and just see if we can't get across i'm gonna just try to get a little bit of speed back okay here we go we're gonna try to take the dump truck across the riprap and see if we can make it across the bridge here we go oh we're bouncing hang on oh. and we landed on the other side we made it Oh my god. The sun is shining. The dump truck made it across once. We're starting to get finally some success here without all these fails. Here goes Matt for take two. Let's take a look at how the structure of this holds up. I mean, it looked pretty good. I think the next step is the fire truck. Four days in the making, we have the newest bridge here at the Team House. Matt's been working really hard on it. Do you think it's gonna work? Definitely. You think 100%, so? Yeah. It's just gonna make it across easy? Easy. Yeah, super. Okay, I'm not so sure, but I'm hoping it does because in order to stay on schedule to put the Ferrari in the tree, we gotta get the fire truck across here. Here goes nothing. Woo! This is gonna be a bumpy ride. This might be a fake firefighter hat from the party store. This is a very real fire truck and a very real mission. Let's drop it in the gear and do this thing. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're about to do this. Oh, I am so nervous. We have never built a bridge before. We are not licensed to be doing this kind of stuff. Here we go, okay, over the wet dirt. And we're about to hit the bridge. Here we go, I'm on the bridge. We hit the dip. I think we're stuck. I was worried about this exact thing. We are stuck in the worst possible place and it's only starting to sink worse and worse. So Matt's grabbing the dump truck. Hopefully we can pull this thing out. Otherwise we might be stuck here for a long time. Stop, stop, stop. This is really bad. We, it's literally go, it's falling into the ground. Okay, I gotta wait for him to get the slack out of the chain. I don't know what to do. This is it's stuck. Next up, we are gonna try to winch this thing out. And good thing this winch is a heavy duty one rated for 12,000 pounds. The fire truck is 70,000 pounds. So we are gonna be using snatch blocks, which are basically pulleys. Rated for 20,000 pounds. Oh gosh. Okay, well, we clearly have nothing big enough, but we're gonna just try it. I doubt this will do anything, but if it does, you, we need to be very careful of this because these things under a huge tension can snap and cut people in half. Here we go for tape three. We've tried the dumpy, we tried the skitty. Now we're gonna try to winch this thing out. Here we go. think it's budging even an inch. Well, we think the winch overheated. Well, worst case scenario happened yet again. Fire truck is stuck bad. There is nothing we have on property to get this out. So I don't know what we do, Matt. Uh, I think we gotta call a big, bigger truck. <laughs> a bigger truck? bigger truck? Oh my God. I'm a man of my word. I said I'm putting a Ferrari in a tree. And so we're literally about to do that right now. We have lift off. What if this whole thing dropped? Oh, no. I think we just totaled the Ferrari. A couple months ago, I set out to buy the cheapest Ferrari in the country and I succeeded. I found one sitting in someone's barn for over 20 years. This thing was rough, but we got it home and it actually ran and drove. After posting that video, there were a ton of comments saying this was a fake Ferrari. So to prove you guys wrong, I took this thing to get authenticated and I was so confident it was real, I said this. If they were to say this isn't a real Ferrari and that it's like fake or something, I will tie this thing and winch it up into a no. tree and make a tree house out of it. After a thorough inspection, the verdict was in. 
And this is actually a 1984 Ferrari 308 built by Pontiac. It's by actually Pontiac. a Pontiac Fiero, it's not a Ferrari. It doesn't... I couldn't believe my ears. My Ferrari was fake. Everybody was right. But I'm a man of my word, so now I need to go put my fake Ferrari high up into a tree. The first step of hanging the Ferrari is I need my fire truck to get next to the tree so I can get up there and hang the pulleys. But the fire truck is huge, so we had to build an entirely new bridge. Building a bridge proved to be so difficult, the fire truck got stuck. We had to spend thousands of dollars just to pull this thing out, tear up the bridge, rebuild it again, and then try driving the fire truck across a second time. Go, 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 go! We're going, we're going. Oh, yeah! 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 Oh, oh my God! Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, my God, that was so scary! <laughs> After days of hard work, we finally succeeded and passed this crazy side quest, and now we can start trimming some branches. Now that we got the fire truck up by the house, we can ride the ladder up to the tree so that we can get this Ferrari all the way hoisted up to here. The tree is finally prepped, and now it's time to move on to the next step. Matt is gonna be building a frame which is gonna attach to the Ferrari, and this is super important because this is what's gonna actually allow us to tie it to the rope to hoist it to the tree so we can pull this thing up 60 feet into the air. And this is no easy build and it's up to Matt to engineer this thing properly because if it's not created just right as the forces start getting applied this thing could snap break and the Ferrari could free fall over 60 feet and I'd be pretty upset with that because I still promised the original owner that I would give him a ride in this Ferrari fake or not I still owe him that the frame is done last and final step put the pulleys in the tree get everything set and let's hook this thing up and see what happens so the system is finally set up it took a lot of work but we got the pulleys up mounted in the tree we have a car here here. This isn't the Ferrari, but this is going to be our testing car just to make sure if it all works. If it does, then we're going to get the Ferrari. Behind me, we got the fire truck. We got the skid steer. We got the work truck. We got the monster truck. So we got all the toys out. We have a crazy pulley system here in order to pull this off. And we're about to start our first test. But let's start our engine. Let's get started because Matt can't wait another minute. Let's go. All right, let's, uh, let's add some tension. Let's see what happens. So here we go. Matt is going to back up. And as he backs up, the whole thing is getting tension. All the pulleys are starting to move. Oh, the car's lifting. Oh, this is working really well. Oh, the dirt. Oh, we almost have full lift up. That tripod is about to get hit. Oh, no. Oh, the camera. It's the 360s. OK, wait, hold. Hold for a second. All right, I'm walking into the danger zone. I was worried that this would get moved, and it did. Everything was going well until the car twisted the wrong way. We can't lift it up any higher until we have it facing the tree again. So Stove, Andrew, and Jack are pulling the rope and trying to use their muscles to get the car settled correctly. Team Briar has always been such a strong team, and they were able to do literally anything, including pull a car floating in the air. That was awesome. I can't believe that worked. We got that all sorted out. We are now gonna go even high. Oh, it's going fast. Love that. So as Matt drives in reverse, the tree is going up so fast. Okay, at any point this could drop. Oh, I thought I saw something. All right, you have about three feet. You see that pulley, right, Matt? All right, and stop. Right there, perfect. That's maxed. We are maxed height. That's what the Ferrari is gonna look like. What do we do that next? Oh my gosh. All right, everybody steer clear. Cause this is gonna be ridiculous. If Matt releases that bucket, Team Rar, test one was very successful, but what better way to get that car down from the top of the tree than to drop it? So we're about to hit that, here we go. You guys ready? Let's do it! I'm a little nervous, but here we go. All right, three, two, one. Oh! Oh! oh my gosh! It's like a totem pole. That was crazy. Dude, look at that. The wire got whipped. It worked! That's the coolest thing. I wonder if I can just... Oh, I think I could probably push it over. Here we go. It's surprisingly sturdy. Okay, I think it's stuck. Push! 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 What the heck? 
came oh, this thing is Look stuck in the tree. It's stuck. Look, it like bored into yeah. the tree. We got a bolt. We got a core sample out of the tree. Here. It's holding it right no, now. No, it's not. It's not holding it that much. It's just the exhaust. All right, so we're giving up. We're just gonna use the skid steer. Here we go. Yes. Oh, that felt. It was. It was stuck in the ground. No way. 100%. No way. Something was holding it because as soon as it let, it just boom. Yeah. So maybe somehow it was the exhaust. I think it was the exhaust. <laughs> oh, oh. I really didn't expect this to be as cool as it was. So we're going to put it up again because why not? And then we'll move on to the Ferrari. But I want to see this thing go up and smash one more time. Let's do it. It's just too much fun to drop a full-size car. It's crazy. I put this car 100 feet up in the tree and we're about to drop it. Let's arm the remote. Okay, here we go. When I push this green button, this thing should drop if everything works. This is pretty scary. Three, two, one. Come on. Oh! Oh! What's that noise? Let's go check it out. Oh! Yeah, I think it's gonna blow. Come on, let's check this out. What is that noise? Oh my gosh. Matt, is it going to blow? Oh my gosh. It hit the tree in a weird way. It kind of hit in the back and then slid down, but I think it looks okay. That tree's still intact. For now. <laughs> For now. Still got a full Ferrari. Ferrari badge is still on there. To the contours, look at that. It looks like it's meant. That's a Ferrari. Out with this old car and in with the Ferrari. It looks like it doesn't even roll anymore. It's sagging, it's dropped. This thing is beat up. So pulling it from the front didn't work, but oh, pushing works great. All right, this is out of the way. And now we finally have room for the Ferrari to go up the tree. This is it, guys. Team Raw, we're putting this Ferrari up in a tree. Here we go, hang on. Oh. oh, look at this, we're overheating bad. Shoot, the car is overheating. Okay, I'm gonna drive this over to the tree now. Yep. Oh, the throttle's stuck. Nope, it was for a second. It felt like the throttle just kept going, almost crashed. Bro, that's scary. Imagine <laughs> we drove this thing to the lake right now. All right, we need to pull this car up into its final. Spot. It's stuck on, the throttle's stuck. Oh my gosh. Okay, it is overheating again. I don't know what's going on. Yo, look at the smoke, look at this. It is, it is hot. Oh, throttle stuck. I was stomping on the brake and the thing just kept dragging the wheels across the grass. I thought I was gonna crash. Man, Ferraris are so temperamental. That was a tap of the throttle. Oh my gosh, the throttle is stuck. And I also think the brakes just let out too. So I'm full throttle, no brake. I've never driven a car where the throttle, when you give it gas, it doesn't come off and you're stuck on throttle and the brakes are starting to go. So I'm sitting there, cook, 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 and I turn the key because it's just like, I'm looking like I'm going to hit the tree. That was violent, but we're in. Let's lift it. All right, so we're making this off officially like the Ferrari totem. We're going to have a flying Ferrari in the yard. It's going to be like a Christmas ornament. This is what you call rare and ridiculous. Like literally <laughs> hanging a Ferrari from a tree that's like 100 feet in the, in the air. That's how it's official. This is going to make it the real Ferrari. For those of you that still think this is a fake Ferrari, it can't be fake when it says Ferrari and it's got the logos and the emblems. You can't just buy them. This this just came in the mail for you. Oh, you did? Expedited shipping. Yeah. Uh, don't show that. And look, more proof. This one, it literally shows that it's special edition signed by Ferrari himself. You mean like this one? Uh, Michael Schumacher. No, stop. I believe it's real, it's not imaginary. It's sitting here, it's going in the tree. Let's do this thing with a real Ferrari. It's time, we got my Ferrari right here. We got a huge tree. We have it all rigged up. The last thing we gotta do is start that monster truck, drive it in reverse, and lift this Ferrari 60 feet to the top of this tree, just like I promised you I would. Today's the day, let's do it. All right, the last step is that we just gotta just climb up there with Matt. They're gonna be driving this, which is gonna be pulling everything and making all the magic happen. This is basically, 
what we're using in replace of a winch. The monster truck is attached to this pulley. The pulley goes all the way up and attaches to the tree, which then goes down and attaches to the Ferrari. You pull this, Ferrari should go up. Oh, I guess we're going. We got the audience over there. We have audience cam. Let's go. All right, this is the mission. Weeks in the planning of this, with the fire truck stuck, with building the bridge, rebuilding the bridge, building the platform, taking the PT Cruiser up, dropping it, testing it, trimming the tree. So many steps, it's taken forever, but I'm a man of my word. I said I'm putting a Ferrari in a tree, and so we're literally about to do that right now. All right, let's do it. Let's put some tension on that cable. Oh, don't stall. Oh, Ooh. come on, Matt. That pulley's pulling. The cable is starting to come up. Okay. Oh, we have liftoff. Oh. I, oh, it broke. It broke. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. It wasn't even close to work. It wasn't even close to working, Matt. No, it wasn't even close. It just completely broke. Oh, my gosh. What did we miss? What? How? Oh my gosh, it broke there and there. How? It, I, I thought it got stuck on the tree and added yeah, tension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It didn't do that. I couldn't even see this side. That side was bowing a bit, but it looked okay. But then I could tell us one, like, at one point, like this sag, I'm like, oh, that something, something not good. I was so confident with my little like pet talk over there. And I did not expect this thing to break. This thing was so strong. There could have been so many things that went wrong, but for this to break, there's no way this becomes a part three. Everything's broken, but I don't care. We have to keep pushing forward. We need to put this Ferrari in a tree, even if that means it's gonna fall out and get completely totaled. A promise is a promise, and I'm not giving up on you guys. We're just gonna try a little bit. That's pulling. I'm getting a clear view this time. It's fine. Oh my gosh, what if this thing whole, the whole thing drops? It seems fine. All right, I'm taking a, an assessment right now. So this beam is fine. So this is broken and that is, I mean, this is still flat on the ground. If we keep going, we're gonna risk this thing actually falling out. We've gotta get this variety in a tree, this is killing me. All right, I'm gonna give him hand signals. Ah, this is not looking good. Let's go, let's keep going, we're pushing. We're pushing through, it's not looking good, but for you guys. I'm doing this for Team Roar. Oh no! Oh no! No, no, not the Ferrari! <laughs> Okay, this car is totaled. I, th I think we just totaled the Ferrari. That was not part of the plan. This was not part of the plan. Oh my God. Just, just get it done. Get the job done. Keep going. Oh my God. Oh my God. And three more feet and we got it. Okay, stop, stop. That could, that was horrible. That went horrible, but we, it's up there. I'm not happy about it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, my oh my gosh. gosh. That is so sketchy. Oh my gosh. It's only hanging on by a couple wheels at best. I mean, the Ferrari is in a tree. I said I would do it, but I was hoping to do it in a way that wouldn't total the car. You can see the strap on this back tire is off because the wood is completely broke. It rubbed into the quarter panel, messing up the body a bit. The problem is, it's either gonna fall out of the tree or when we slowly let it down, it's gonna be on its back. And we need to get it, like, flat. Needless to say, this is a Aquarius situation. I mean, I don't know what to do. I guess we could just drop it. I was hoping to bring it down safely, restore it, and then go back to the previous owner and give him a ride in it. I just wanted to do this first real quick. I didn't think it was gonna be this difficult. How, I, I mean- I have my foot on the brake, I don't wanna let go. <laughs> I'm in park, but I don't know if I wanna let go of the brake. I don't know what we do because it's about to be towed. Yeah. I just can't believe that wood just was like a toothpick. The last thing I thought would break. That's the, like literally the last thing I was I mean, it looks park. sick. I mean, who doesn't want a Ferrari in their tree? I just feel like we have a lot more to do today. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. 
It could and fall. The front wheels are coming out. Oh, dude, hold on a second. You see how that front left wheel like rotated? There is not much holding that in the air. Oh my God. Well, not everyone gets to say that they hung a Ferrari in a tree in the front yard of their house with a monster truck. So I'm pretty proud and I stuck to my word, but uh, it's time to lower this thing down. All right, monster truck is rolling. PT Cruiser is slow and steady. <laughs> yeah, the Ferrari, the Ferrari. PT Cruiser is the one we dropped. That's the PT Cruiser, this is the Ferrari. It's coming down, this is great. It's still not out of the woods. If it falls, it's still totaled. Oh my god, it's scraping the tree the whole way down. Monster truck's moving in. This thing is literally in pieces. Okay. I mean, we got it up, thank goodness, because I could not let this go to a part three. I mean, I didn't even expect, it was supposed to be a one part video. And then it went to two because of huge fails over there with the, the fire truck. You guys saw us get stuck and we tried to build a bridge. And then apparently, it, apparently we don't know how to do anything. I mean, it looked good. I was fully confident in the wood, but apparently that wood is just, it wasn't strong enough, even close. All right, looks like Carter is coming up. Come on, big boy. I know. It's easier with the bigger wheels, believe it or not. It's a workout. There you go. It's like a jungle gym. Oh, let's get this Ferrari out of here. Yeah, let's do it. All right, All right. we're just trying to coordinate each other. Matt's got to pull a lot more. Let's look at that. That was so scary. The question is, is it totaled? Um, That'll buff out. It's, I mean, it's all right. It's better than it could have been, you know? It's Just the tension of the cable. My, oh my God. This wheel, it wasn't even in, like, the car rolled back. Like, look how far back it went. What was even holding that? I, I guess the strap. This feels tight. Oh my God. <laughs> well, this whole project couldn't have gone worse. <laughs> but we got it done. Total, just a little bit of damage, it'll buff out. Ferrari in a tree, rare and ridiculous. Team Ferrari is amazing, I love you guys. Subscribe, and we're on to the next crazy thing. Woo! <laughs>